today we're doing mental subtraction. This is take two. All right, I'm gonna give you the short run again for my kids at home. So we're gonna to learn to do this to strengthen our subtraction skills. It doesn't mean this is the way you have to do it. We're doing it this way to make it to where hopefully you can subtract easier in your head, okay? You can still subtract by stacking, just like I did when I was a kid and your parents did. All right, so the first trick we're learning is to count on, and we're kind of doing it by um, separating it into ones, tens, and then hundreds. So if you look up here, it says, you can count on to subtract mentally, find 300 minus 155. So I want you to go ahead and write in your space right here, 300 minus 155. Okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and do it like that normal stack and subtract here in just a minute, but let's first look and see what they've done in the book to tell us how to count on, okay? So we're trying to get to 300 and find the difference between 155 and 300. So just like when I have you count up on your fingers when you're subtracting, we're gonna do it, but with a bigger version, okay? So I have 155, what gets me to 160? 45. What gives me to 160? If I got 155, just to the 60. Wendy, what gets me there? Um, a plus five. A plus five, right? See how they've done up here? So now I'm at 160. Remember, I'm trying to get to 300. So I've got my five to get me to a 10. Now I'm gonna count by tens up to 200. You ready? So I'm starting at 160, I'm gonna go 170, 180, 190, 200. Each of these are a 10. So I got four tens, which is 40. And that gets me to 200, okay? From 200, I gotta get to 300. I'm gonna count by hundreds now. How many do I need? One. One. So then these numbers right here, I'm gonna add up. So I got 100 plus 40 is? 140, 140. and then another five, I got 145, okay? So that's counting on. Let's go ahead and do our stack and subtract and see if we get the same thing, you ready? Can I take five from zero? No. Can I borrow from this zero? No. I gotta go clear over to the hundreds and mark it out. I'm gonna make this a two, okay? It takes 10 tens to make 100, so I'm gonna move 10 of those tens to my 10 spot. Now can I borrow? Yes. 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 I'm gonna take one of these tens, okay? So remember, this is worth 10, so I'm not just bringing one over, I'm bringing a whole 10 over. Now I can subtract. 10 minus five is? Class? Five. Nine minus five is? Four. Two minus one is? One. Okay? See? So you can count on to get it, or you can just stack and subtract, okay? So just learning different ways to do it today. Okay, we're gonna go on down to two. Suppose a computer costs five hundred and seventy-three dollars. Okay, so five hundred seventy-three dollars. My label is probably going to be the dollars. If you buy it today, it costs four hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Is that less? Yes. Four ninety-eight less. So what does that tell you? It's probably on. Uh, probably on that. sale, right? Because it says, "What is the discount?" So they want to know if you're shopping and you buy something today and it's cheaper than it would be like later on in the week, that means it's on sale or it's discounted, okay? So they wanna know what's the discount? How much are you actually saving if you buy it today? Okay, so go ahead and stack your problem. We have 573 minus 498, okay? You with me? You know when we multiply, I said it's easier to multiply by tens, twos, and fives. It's also easier to subtract by tens, twos, and fives. Okay? So anytime we can get those numbers to multiple the tens, we're going to do it. Okay? So on this one, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to take that 573. We're going to keep our stack and then come over here and rewrite for me. 573. Minus 498 equals, okay? Now here's another way you can do it. 
So we can try to get this to five and tens, okay? So if I add two to this side and two to this side, you count up with me, 573 plus two, so we've got 573, 574, 475, right? 575. Now this only works if you add it to both sides, okay? Then let's do the other side. 498, and we're gonna do two. We're gonna count up by two, ready? 499, 500, right? Can you subtract that in your head now? What if I do it like this? That's 75. What's my answer? 75. What's the answer to the same over here? You ready? Okay. Can I take three from eight? Nope. I have to bar, right? So I'm taking one of the tens. I'm adding it here. So an easy way to do this so that you don't get lost and just put a one is if you put a one in front of this three, it becomes a 13. Okay. Maybe that'll help you because that way you won't just be putting a one at the top and marking it out. Okay? Now, 13 minus 8, you can just count up with your fingers. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. When I get to that top number, I stop, so my answer is 5. Okay? Can I take 6 from 9? No. So i got to come next door again. Remember, it takes 10 tens to make 100, so I'm bringing 10 tens over. So now instead of a six, I got 16. 16 minus nine, I can count up again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have seven, right? Four minus four is three. Okay? This is the same thing. Now, this only works if I add the same amount to both sides of the uh, minus sign. Okay? Think of it like siblings. Raise your hand if you have a sibling, a brother or sister at home. If your mom or dad gives your sibling two dollars, aren't you going to want two dollars? Yes. Yeah, so don't cheat your numbers, okay? They might think you like the other one better. Okay, so let's do some more mental math over here, just a couple, and then we're going to move to the back, okay? So over here, let's do number three. Do you see what they've done here? Looking at number three, what have they done? If this was my number and then they went here, what have they done to that one, Kent? They changed the number. Yeah, how did they change them? What's the difference between these? Two. They yeah, two. they added two to both of these, right? So if I have two, I have 18, I count up two, I get 19, 20. I have 46, 846, I count up two, 847, 848, right? Now, is that real easy to subtract now? Yeah. Yeah, because look, I can just look at my tens because I'm taking 20 away, so I can count down 848. So 840, 848 becomes 840, 838, 828, right? Or you can stack and subtract. So I'm just taking 20 away from this. Get eight, 828, okay? Mm -hmm. You just can't see it right there, but thank you. Very dark, is it? You good? All right, let's go on. On all these, they're adding. Let's do one more of these and then we'll skip down, okay? Uh, let's do, let's do number six. Can you see the pattern here? What have they changed here in these numbers on number six? Parker? They changed the, the um, they changed the, they changed the numbers. What'd they go up by? Can they you changed it um, by five. Yeah, they changed it to five, Kenzie, by what? Yeah, they went up by three. So we did plus three to this sibling and plus three to this sibling. Don't leave somebody out, they'll be upset. Okay? So if I count up, I got 782, 783, 784, 785. Over here I got 347, 348, 349, 350. Now, I can, I can see that it's going to be um, 435, but if you can't, it's okay. Just put it underneath it, okay? Just stack it. Make sure when you're stacking, here's the other thing that we need to make sure of, that we have our ones over our ones, our tens over our tens, and our hundreds over our hundreds, okay? You have to really watch that because you don't want to be subtracting the wrong thing. So five minus zero is five. five. 
8 minus 5 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So my answer is 435. Okay, so down here we're counting on. Okay, so we've added to both sides as one way to do middle math. Now we're counting on. This is like our example at the top. Okay, so let's do a, um, at least number seven and then we'll go to the back. Okay, so I have 138 here. Let me start over here. So find 400 minus 138 by counting on. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our one. Okay, we're going to start with our back number and look at our one. How can I get this to where the one has a zero in it? What do I got to add to 138 to get it to a zero? Heavenly? Two. Two. I don't know if you see it back there. Two. Now I'm going to count by tens. What do I got to add to 140 to get to 200? Can you get with me? 60. 60, right? You can count by tens if you need to to get up there. So I get to 200. And remember, I'm trying to get to 400, so I'm at 200. What do I got to add to 200 to get to 400? Jackson? 200. 200. Now, I got to add all these up to actually get my answer. So I got 200 plus 60 plus 2. Look, that's just expanded form. We can stick that together real quick, right? Mm -hmm. So just keep the first 2, 6, 2. That's my answer. Okay? You can decide. Like, there's three different ways here to subtract. You can, you can stack it, you can add to both sides, or you can just keep counting on. Okay? I don't care which way you do it. We're using some story problems. Okay, so it says Taylor has read 158 pages, so we're probably going to have that as my label, in a book. The book is 214 pages long. How many pages does Taylor have left to read to use mental math? So what am I doing other than mental math? Mm -hmm. I'm doing what? Subtracting. Subtracting, because I'm trying to do the difference, right? So like I said, you can stack it like normal. Okay. Or you could do some adding to both sides, okay? Because this is really close to 160, right? So let's add that and see if we can do it. So what do I have to add to 158 to get it to 160? What? Two. Two, right? So add two to this side and add two to this side and count up 59, 60 over here. Not quite as pretty, but I get one six or two sixteen. Okay. Now, I'm still gonna want to stack it to subtract it, just because that's the way my brain works. But that makes it a little easier. So I can get six minus zero is six. I'm still gonna have to do some borrowing. I get fifty six. Okay. Or you can just do it stack it, right? What else could we do? We could count on, right? Right? You want to try counting that on? Let's do it here to make sure we're right first. 4 minus 8, can I do that? Or 8 minus 4, can I do that? Nope. My 1 here, I'm going to count up. 6, 0 from 5, I can't do that. So I'm good there. Okay? I think you got it? I think I'm going to leave it there. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. Huh? I like to do it all. Huh? I like to do it all. Me. Huh? Okay. I can do it all. Okay. All right. We're going to go to 26. Because I want you to have time for Thomas and your brain pop today. Oh, my God. What brain pop? What brain pop? The one that's on the board. Okay, so down here it says Sarah has $350, so dollars seems a bit like it might be important. How much money will she have after buying the computer at the sale price? 
describe how you in middle math test find the answer. So it says page 58, right? What's it say on your book? 58. Okay, so the original price was 299, okay? And we have to take 58 from that. Okay? So it would be really easy just to add two to that on both, right? If I have 299 minus 58, and if I add two, that's gonna get this to 60 really quick, okay? So 58, you have 60. 399, I just count up, 300, 301. Okay, can you subtract that in your head really quick? Anybody? Hmm. What if it's 100 minus 60? Yeah. What's that? 40, 40, 40 right? 40. 40, and then I got this little extra one, and so that I still have 200 left. So I get 241, if you need to do your dollar, or you can stack it. Okay, one, it's just a two and a 10. Okay. Am I done? No. No, why? Is that what it wanted to know? Did it want to know what the sell price for the computer was? No, right? It wants to know how much money she'll have left after buying it. So we gotta go back up here to our story column. She has $350, right? And she's buying a computer for 241. I'm gonna do mine that way. Can I do it this way? Can I take one from zero? No. No, you've got a four. I just like to put the one right there in front of it so I don't accidentally just add one because I'm adding 10 and subtract. So I get nine, four minus four, zero, three minus two, one. So she ends up with $109. Okay, so how did we use middle math? We counted. Um... Lori, could you come to the office?